1985. Interview with Hugh Sidey, Oval Office, closed, Widmer on camera, Marbury on sound. 4C. July 26, 1985. Staff time, residence. Closed coverage, Cochrane on camera, Marbury Sound, 4C. Anything else? see that Life magazine, the whole double section, pages of photos of people with me. Ah, why ever? I'm ready for Camp David. Uh, yes. See? Good morning. morning. Nice to see you. Good morning. How do you do? You know we're having the NSC meeting up here also. Yeah. yeah I saw everything with residents. I bring you greetings for Margaret Thatcher and all kinds of foreign leaders. I don't know whether she's... Stuck her head in here or not, but she saw her last no, I, night. I thought I was supposed to meet her while she's here. No, that was never. Uh, you were going to meet at a round table in the East Room at 11 o'clock. Today? You were. Yeah. Um, and that was scratched at the time of uh, the, that we cleared your schedule. Oh, dear. Of everything. You need to. George is handling it for you. Yeah, they're all going to be there. He's having it, though, in the Roosevelt Room this morning. Then we take them over to lunch. She got off the plane last night. I was there at the dinner. And uh, it's supposed to be two addresses. I took one look at her, tore about half of what I had to say. I, she had just gotten off the plane. It was about 2 o'clock in the morning in UK time. She had had a very tough day at the Parliament, her own people getting on her. And uh, she, she did very well. It's a, it's a short talk, 12 minutes or something. But uh, it was, uh, she sends her love and affection. They all did. We've had, I had lunch with four, like Blaze of Grenada and Eugenia Charles, who loves you dearly. And, and July 26, 1985, National Security Brief, residence, closed, Cochrane on camera, camera, Marbury Sound. On the way out, Dole's secretary said, the plan is all about. You don't have anything to show me. You're just talking. <clears throat> and then she said, I don't want to talk to the press either. So Dole said, well, you can go out the back door if you want. He's on the ground level. So there was a little walkway out there. So the car moved. The newspaper reporter saw it. They followed the car. Out of the hedge and wall, saying, what do you think of the oil import tax? Will the president deal with it? So far? Well, I started walking down the walk to try to find the steps to get the hell out of it because there's a four foot <laughs> drop there. As you go down the hill off Capitol Hill, it gets steeper as you go. There were no steps. So with all the reporters there, photographers and everything else, I just took a leap right over the head down the wall, <laughs> landed on the sidewalk and got into my car. <laughs> NSC meeting, residence, closed, July 26, 1985, Cochrane on a camera, camera, Marbury Sound, 4C. He's up cutting a part out of the top of the barn. What are you doing that for? He says, well, the mule's ears are too long. I'm trying to get it so the mule's ears mule can go in. I said, why don't you just take a little out of the dirt, little dirt out of the bottom then? He 
He says, it's not, no, you don't get it. He says, it's ears too long, not his legs. <laughs> the situation in South Africa and Southern Africa more generally, the headlines have made it clear. Six July 1985, President Reagan departing for Camp David via Marine One. Fitzpatrick on camera, Cochrane on sound, open coverage, camera 4C.